Hey, what's going on guys? Dave in here with another lesson from Play Creatively, and today we are talking about a seven sharp five sharp nine chord. Hey, don't worry if you have no idea what this chord is because I'm gonna show it to you and how you can use it as a nice juicy gospel passing chord. Yes, I use the word juicy for a reason. All right, let's get right to the lesson. All right, so this is an A, seven sharp five sharp nine chord now the notes here are it's a which is the one g which is the seven c c c sharp d flat and then f all right now we're going to say c sharp because we're talking about the a which is the c sharp is in the a major scale let's not get into all that right now okay and then we have the F, and the F is the sharp five. And the reason why it's called a sharp nine is because in, this B is the nine, and instead of playing the B, we're playing a C, okay? And so we've sharpened the nine, all right? Now, those are the notes for the chord. Uh, this is an example of it in a song, uh, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. And I use this in a tutorial that I created for Hark the Herald Angels Sing. So we have it here. Uh, now I use it as the second chord in that little piece right there. Peace on earth. All right. And mercy now. All right. And I'm using this sharp five, sharp nine chord to get to this D minor seven. So the way I like to use this chord is whenever I'm going to the six of a scale. So for example, let's say I am in the F major scale here. And I'm going to D minor, which is the sixth degree of the scale. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The way I would use it is in instead of just going straight to that D minor, I'm going to play an A sharp five sharp nine going to the D minor. And I'm thinking the A sharp five sharp nine here is the third note within that F major scale. Okay, now these are very important things to remember because we're going to show you how to apply this to any key. Okay, so we're going to the third note within the F major scale. Now we're making that a sharp five, sharp nine chord or a seven sharp five, sharp nine chord. And then we're going to the D minor seven here. Okay, as my six. So peace on earth and mercy. All right. Now that's just one example okay um let's try applying this to another key okay so let's say we're in the key of c okay and we're going to an a minor chord which is our six all right we're gonna play here we're gonna go to the third of c which is going to be e okay now we're going to walk this step by step, all right? So let's play E major, okay? First off, we're going to make the third major, first step, okay? So the third is normally minor, we're going to make it major. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to add the sharp five, all right? And so the sharp five here, the five is B, and we're going to sharpen that and make it C. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the dominant seven. So we're going to count seven notes away from E. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we realize that seven is a D. So we're going to go ahead and add that D. Now, I hope you see how I'm adding it. I'm adding it by just in removing my hand off of the E and going a whole step down. And that gives me my seven as well. Okay. And because I'm already playing the E in my left hand, I don't need to play it in my right. That's one of my big secrets, to be honest. Okay, so now we have an E augmented seven chord. Now we need to get our nine, our sharp nine. So then we would 
go from E and in that scale we would just count up three one two three from E even though we're in the C major scale and then that gives us our sharp nine which is G okay and now we see we have an E seven sharp five sharp nine chord okay or an E augmented seven sharp nine chord I don't care what you call it this is this is the chord we're playing here and then we're gonna use that chord to get to a minor okay and then you can figure out which inversion you like okay this is one of my favorite inversions here I like using this inversion as well okay but it's important to practice those inversions quite frankly in all of your keys so that you can easily adapt to whatever musical situation you're in all right let's apply it to another key so let's say we're in the key of G all right this is G major we want to get to we want to find that sharp 5 sharp 9 chord so we would go to the third of G major we would make B a major chord it's really a minor chord we'd make it major and then we would find the sharp five so F sharp is our five one two three four five of the B major scale we would bring that up a half step that gives us our B augmented chord or our B sharp five chord then we would add the dominant seven so we'd go down a half step from B I mean a whole step from B or we would count seven notes away from B okay either way we get an A okay and then finally we would add our sharp nine now we count up three notes away from B and that gives us our sharp nine okay now the reason why it's called a sharp nine remember it's because we're taking C sh we're taking the second note within the B major scale which is really C sharp, and we are sharpening it, okay, and making it D. And that gives us our chord. And then you work on your inversions, going to an E minor, all right? So there you have it. Now let's let's go back, that's, there you have on how you transpose it in different keys. Now let's go ahead and go back to the key of F. And then I want to show you another example of how I may use this. All right. So uh, let's play Amazing Grace here. So. Here, I'm using a sharp five, sharp nine chord, but it is a different inversion, okay? So it's important to like examine the notes within that chord and then figure out the different inversions you like. So I'll tell you what this is. This inversion here that I'm playing, which remember for the key of F, we're using a three going to six. So it'd be an A sharp five, sharp nine chord going to a D minor seven. The inversion here I'm using though, is a C sharp and a G in my left hand with a C, F, and A in my right. And then I'm just going up a half step and then I'm sliding down to that A sharp five sharp nine chord. All right. And then I'm going to that D minor. So let me uh, play it again in the example. Uh, It's a little wild, but you get the idea. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like content like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. Also, if you want to check out one of my free courses, feel free to check out the description below. Well, until next time, remember this, keep watching, keep learning, and we'll keep growing together. I'll see you in the next video.